Hi, Dr. D. Pasquale with NSI Stem Cell, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about lupus and what lupus represents in terms of the autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases are really a product of immune dysregulation. And these are not things that were genetically determined to, to develop in, inside of our body. Um, they, yes, we can have genetic predispositions and sensitivities, but ultimately our environment creates that dysregulation. And then essentially what happens is our immune system goes haywire. One of the primary um, causes or theories behind the causes for autoimmune diseases is basically damage to the mucosal lining of our gut or leaky gut syndrome, where basically large molecules are able to enter the bloodstream directly. That's not a good thing. And essentially when that happens, our body develops antibodies. Now we have two sides to our immune system. We have cell mediated and we have antibody driven. The cell mediated portion needs to be the dominant portion. That's the one that kills things. The antibody driven just remembers things. So remember the chicken pox. Essentially, if we get the chicken pox, there's a virus, the cell mediated immune system springs into action, it kills the virus, it allows us to get through that process, but we also develop antibodies that remember it, and that's natural immunity, it's really powerful. When we have an autoimmune disease, we become dysregulated. We're producing antibodies on a regular basis in response to foreign things in our bloodstream because possibly we have a leaky gut type of scenario. So when that happens, then there's an external trigger. And it could be a serious emotional event, it could be a traumatic event, it could be a viral or bacterial infection, it could be many different things. And it triggers this autoimmune process where our body goes haywire and it starts to attack healthy tissue. In this case, with lupus, it starts to attack you know, the connective tissues in our body and it can create symptoms all over. Things like rashes and pain and inflammation and the many things that lupus sufferers deal with, those are symptoms associated with an inherent cause, which is a dysregulated immune function. Um, what we can do with stem cell therapy or what we can do in this environment, stem cells are a tool that we utilize, but in this environment, a lifestyle medicine environment, a holistic environment, what we do is we regulate immune function, which requires stem cell therapy. It's the most powerful natural tool that we have to regulate immune function so that we can get patients out of a period of crisis. But then we have to do the things necessary to teach patients how to maintain that relative symptomatic free lifestyle. And that comes with gut repair work. It comes with you know dietary changes. It comes with lifestyle changes that would be congruent with health. And I think that's really the bottom line. You know, when it comes to lupus or when it comes to any autoimmune condition or any disease for that matter, we don't treat those diseases. What we do is we give the body what it needs to promote function or normal function and to heal on a level that most patients uh, just don't have access to in the traditional model.